Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to more Ark Survival Evolved. Checking in with the morning of a new day, and you might be able to see I've done a few upgrades. I don't even remember if I've mentioned my double high walls. I kind of think I have, because that's what allowed me to set everyone on Wander. Maybe I said that a couple episodes ago. But I've also done a couple of just, you know, additions. Made some additions to the house here. Excuse me, Spinet, as I'm walking over there. You can see I've added a couple of pillars just to support a bit of an outcropping. Now, I know, this is nothing exciting. It's now no longer a cube, which means it loses a certain Borg factor about it that I rather enjoyed. And now it's just kind of oblong, but, you know, hey, whatever. Although, here's the thing, though. Let's hop inside and we'll get to the point of this episode, which I should probably talk about, but just show you. Yeah, it's kind of janky. Um, it works, but the pillars stick up into the floor because it's a ceiling and not a foundation. I think that's why. And it just, you know, it, uh, it works. But I still have my old window here because, well, these are really old exterior walls. And I can't really get rid of these walls right here if I don't want my bookcase to be floating in the middle. But, you know, minor details aside. So, last episode, let's talk about that one. That was a fun one, actually. I had a lot of fun and brought back a croc and brought back a... Whatever those things are called. Diamorphodon, that's what it is. You saw it kind of at the beginning there. But I came this way specifically so I could show you that I've planted some long grass. I've planted some saver root. And here's where death roll the level 31. Ooh, make that level 32. Crocodile is. Yeah, she gets a pretty good chunk of hit points whenever she levels up. It's not going to take her long to get some levels. So since I have this brand new crocodile, and never mind Icky over here, well, Ictharina, if I'm going to be technical. Yeah, you need some more health, although I probably shouldn't try and give you too much more beyond that because that's almost a waste. But minor details aside, I thought I'd go ahead and take Death Roll here out for a spin. So one of the things I find interesting, and maybe I can kind of show you here, is that when these well, guys and girls here are walking, which is cool because they can walk. They're, you know, a bit slow, and because they have this massive tail, they get stuck on everything because they have the turning radius of, well, I guess it's slightly better than a Stegosaurus, but it's not all that great. But as soon as they get in the water here, and she's going to demonstrate because she is quite the friendly crocodile, Man, they're just like bullets. They just swim so fast and smooth. It's pretty awesome. It's good stuff. I'm guessing they're not as maneuverable as the dolphins are, but they are still pretty darn fast. So let's go ahead and take her out for a spin. I mentioned in the last episode I spent the points on the saddle, but I haven't actually created one, so here we go. That is two-thirds of my cementing paste. Just like that, all gone. I'm going to say it was all worth it, just because. Now, let's see. Actually, you know what? One more thing, really quick here. You can carry a fair amount. That's going to be good news for me. I like that. Because I have a bunch of extra stuff on me I don't need to carry. So let's first test out the walking speed. This is moving quickly here. This is not exactly knocking me over, but... The big benefit here is that not only can she walk around on the ground, but as soon as we hit the water... Let's see, what does your stamina look like? 585, huh? Curious how long that'll last in the water. But as soon as we hit the water here... There we go. That's actually pretty darn maneuverable. I'm pleased with that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. She turns okay. Not great. Not terrible. I mean, if we uh, maybe spin her around here. Yeah, she's about kind of like the sharks, the megalodons. She doesn't exactly turn on a dime, but I wouldn't expect that. I mean, she has a 47,000 foot tail after all. I just want to go pay this here turtle a visit and see what happens. 
Oh, well, there goes a Coel. Okay, let's turn around and go get the turtle. That was the point, after all. Come here, turtle. Oh, you're a brave or dumb turtle. I'm not sure which. Okay, I don't even know if she's hitting it. She may not be. That is one thing I really wish, is that dinosaurs could learn how to swim backwards. I'd make my life so much easier, because inevitably... Hey, don't you go stealing my kill, jerk. That's so not cool. Hey, my kill. Hands off. There we go. See? That's what I'm talking about. My kill. Go get your own. Still don't know where LT is. As far as I can tell, he's gone. Just gone. No more LT. Where are you, jerky shark? Oh, you have two jerky sharks with you. Now here's an interesting thing. It looks like... They don't care about me. Is that because they're going after the turtle? That is interesting, if not. Just out of curiosity, you did not get any keratin out of that. And again, did I just leave the corpse there? I probably did. Oops. Oh well. I was worried about me drowning. Little things like that. Ah, look at that. She can just surface like no one's business. That's pretty interesting, too. I gotta say, I'm pretty darn pleased with how this crocodile here works out. This is kind of good stuff. Are you going to attack me now? No. Yes. There we go. Okay. I figured they'd get around to it. I just I needed to make sure they weren't ignoring me for the turtle and that, you know, I'm not about to do something and suddenly find I have two angry sharks on me. But let's see how she fares in a fight against a couple of sharks. I don't know what to expect, and I'm hopeful. Okay, so apparently we're going to swim right on top of them. That's different. Okay, swinging around. I almost want to be able to fire a cannon broadside or something. That would be nice. Give me a, you know, let me fire my rifle or something underwater crossbow. Since I guess firing a rifle underwater really wouldn't make sense. But, you know, crossbow, it is designed to shoot underwater. It would be nice if I could shoot it from the back of my crocodile here. I don't see why his feet couldn't be strapped in and, you know, pull out the crossbow and take some pot shots. Maybe I should let her fight on her own, huh? Because I'm doing a terrible job. She's not really taking much damage, but I can't tell if they are. I mean, part of the problem is there's two of them, and there's only one of me. Come on, take one into a death roll. Do it. Yeah, see, she just, like, jumps over the top of them. That is weird. I wasn't trying to do that, and, in fact, I was just trying to move. Well, I don't even know if I was moving right there. I might not have been. That's kind of funky. Wow. I don't, I'm a little hesitant to let her go on her own. Because at least when I'm driving her, poor a driver as I may be, I'm giving her a chance to regenerate some health a little bit. There we go. That got her one. Let's just go ahead and... No. Nope. I'm ready for level. <laughs> Not her. Got it. Yep, fine. We can do this. All right. So let's swing back around here. We need a little more room, apparently. Don't want to leave that croc just... No, croc. Shark. Don't want to leave that croc... Shark. Wow, I can't even say the right thing. I don't want to leave that shark corpse just lying around. Would like to take care of that. Okay, come on. There we go. Added a whole bunch of stuff. And let's go ahead and... She can get a level now. I'm going to go ahead and go straight for some melee. Even though she's not quite where I want her to be for hit points. Just because I think this might be a good idea when it comes time to harvesting. Go ahead and let her have a little extra stomping power, so to speak. Oh, hi, Mega Piranha. Okay. Well, Mega Piranha wants to do this. I kind of think that'd be easier for me to take care of, so... You know, let's go ahead and hop off and... I'll get my handy-dandy pike out. 
Come here. Come here, Mr. Piranha. Or Mrs. Piranha, whichever you are. That's what I thought. Oh. Actually, you know what? Where are you going? Are you taking care of that other body for me? Because, nope, you're not. Well, here, let's go do that, because I need to see what all you got anyway. So swing her around one more time, and then I'm going to do one last test with her. So far, I'm pretty pleased. Not the most maneuverable thing, which I wasn't expecting, but surprisingly maneuverable in the water. More so than I would have guessed. Chomping away. Man, she's got a boatload of meat on her right now. Okay, so let's get rid of the stuff I don't need or want. So all that stuff can go away. She only got one raw prime meat. That's not great. Oh, I saw one more thing to get rid of. And I'm also drowning. So, oops, wrong button. We'll get back to that one in just a minute. So we're going to drop that. And let's do one last test here. Assuming I can not get her stuck on the reef. No? Ah, crud. Did I get her stuck on the reef? I hope not. There we go. Ooh, that was close. I think the trike was in the way. I think that was the problem. So I'm going to try one more thing really quick here, and that is dive. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, this is not very quick. Yeah, you are... You do move around pretty well, but you don't exactly dive quickly. So I don't even know that I'm going to be able to get to the bottom of the ocean here without drowning. Which is why I'm working on the long seat, long grass and saber route, actually. In case you don't know, the reason I'm looking at those two specifically, the reason I planted those, is because those will allow me to make Lazarus Chowder, which lets you breathe a little longer underwater. I've obviously struggled to get to the bottom, and as we can see right now, she's not going to make it underwater before I die, so... That might not be a bad idea to go ahead and load up on Lazarus Chowder. Now, I'm just going to take one quick look over here for some trilobites. In fact, here, actually, I know of a spot where I found them last time. Went a little further out, and we'll see if they're over there, because I'm not seeing any around here. Got to say, it is really nice being able to go through these shallow areas. Granted, the dolphins can do this pretty well, but... I can just hop right out of the water just like that and boom, I'm actually good to go. That is fantastic. But this is where I was last time, kind of right over in here. Let's see if I can get there quickly. I'm trying. I promise you I'm trying. Do see, pretty sure that is a shark over here. A couple of them even. Just cut across, sort of, slowly cut across. Aha, here we go. So there's some trilobites. So let's go ahead and take care of them and see if this is indeed a good way to harvest them. Oh, I guess I need to spin around now. Got a bunch of dolphins around me. Okay, you guys. No getting away. Oh man, these things. Yeah, she doesn't exactly turn on a dime. And now all the trilobites are getting away. But I do have a bunch of sharks chasing me. That's exciting. Oh no, those are ichthys. Ah, uh, phew, good. I thought they were sharks. Oh man, really? I, and I couldn't even harvest it before it ran away. Come on, you can get it. Get it before it goes away. Sort of getting it. Kind of. Okay, she got it. Good. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say she is terrible at harvesting trilobites just because she can't turn quickly enough to find them and harvest them. But, you know, that's not really her fault. That's just the way she's built. So that is where I'm going to call it a day, is right there. And I'll kind of get off of my creature here and... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stab you. You're going to end up dying, I think. Wow, death roll is in a death roll. <laughs> Yeah, that's from calling in an episode is right there. So I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later.